guys and welcome to another UK random video right so today we have another unboxing video so this is my pop in a box subscription for February um, it looks as though I've got an oversized pop and a normal size box it's a bigger box than usual um, I subscribe for two boxes a month it's $18.99 um, you can get one box for $9.99, two for $18.99, three for $27.99, six you get a bigger discount if you get 12 every month, which is a hell of a lot. Who the hell gets 12? Do you get 12? Let me know down below. 12? That's £100. So you know what? That is a wicked price. Maybe one day we'll be there. But for now we have two. So let's open this box and take a look. <clears throat> I'm sure most of you know how it works by now. Um, you, well, you set up your subscription on Pop In The Box's website. You thumbs up pops that you want, thumbs down pops that you don't want. And if you leave them neutral, you stand a chance of getting them. Now, I have left a few neutral because they're ones that I'm so-so eh, about. Um, I've also thumbs up a few that my son might like. So you never know. Let's see. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hell of a lot of protection. But not only that, there's only one pop in the box. Which means one's come from the UK, which is this one. And I've got one coming from more than likely America. Uh, this is one that I've wanted for a long time. It's not one of my all time favorites, but I did really want this. Oh, it is the 1950s Batmobile. That is a really, really cool pop. I've actually had this thumbs up for a while and I've even been watching it on eBay for a while. Um, they usually go for about 20, 25 pounds, which is not bad. And well, to get it in my subscription, I'm very happy because as you can probably see, I've got quite a few Batman moments over there, which this will go nicely with once I've rearranged things because there's no room for them to go <laughs> with them. Let's get them out of the box. There is a metallic blue version of this that I'm after. I might actually get that, depending on how I set everything out and if there's space. Wow. That is cool. And what I liked about it was the front end. Totally different to the Batmobiles, um, the 66 version and um, the Michael Keaton version. That, that would be awesome. But I do want to get the the 66 version and oh, i know leroy scribbles has got the chrome one that one is out of this world if you haven't seen that go over to his channel and check that out that is a ride to be jealous of so yeah i've got oh that is so cool i, I just love the back at the front the the wing at the back it really is cool. It's a bit smaller than I expected it to be. I'm not sure how big <laughs> I was expecting it to be. But you can see you've got the bat symbol in the back. Wow, that is really cool. And it's obviously this, the 1960s style Batman in the Batmobile. That is really cool. Does it look this looks almost the same as my other 1960s Batman, apart from his blue fringe. But you yeah, know, I really, really like this. Wow. That, that is mean. That is a statement. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this? Have any of you got this 1950s Batmobile? I'm actually very happy with it. And I'm actually very curious now as to what I might be getting next month. Not even next month, in part two. So we're going to have to hold off and see how good 
this month's subscription is. To be fair, so far, I've paid $18.99 and I've got this, which you can't get this even on eBay for that price. So, so far, we're on to a winner. Guys, let me know what you think of this one. Do you like it? Are you not keen on it? There's not really anything to not be keen on. It is a 1950s Batmobile. It is what it says on the tin. <laughs> so, guys, like I said, let me know what you think. Give us your like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And we're going to see you very soon for part two. Peace.